Hey guys, Alberto Big Boost here. I'm gonna let you in on a little story. About a month and a half ago, I decided to get chickens. Yes, I never thought I was gonna own chickens. And since I have this giant house now, a lot of land, it's so agricultural, so it only comes natural that I get a couple animals. I mean, having animals could be a little hard. They could also be a lot of maintenance. I figure what's the best animal I could get for here, and that would be chickens. There's that undeniable feeling that you get when you go to the store, or for example, tractor supply and stuff like that, and you see the little chickens, you just wanna take all of them home. Well, I ended up taking four home from a local farm, and those guys are now a month and a half old. So I decided to build a really nice chicken coop with my friend Gary and we'd have it outside and I just finished setting everything up yesterday to move the new chickens to their house. Of course, there's our only four chickens that I have today out of 12 that I have now in total and a couple more eggs on the way. Here are our guests for today, which are gonna be living at their new house. That one right there, that beautiful guy right there, which I know she's a chicken, but her name is Felipe. I know it's a dude's name, but there's this really funny thing that I called him, her, for. And then, yeah, that one's Felipe. This one's Blondie. And these two guys, I haven't figured out names for them yet. I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, what's going on? Alberto's over here talking about chickens, and this is a car channel. Like, what is he doing? I want to film more than just cars, a little bit more about what I do on a daily basis and there's gonna be a lot of that stuff going on at the new house it's not just gonna be cars 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 there's so many cool things to do like this place that needs to be built i have left it alone because i do want to make a whole series putting together the shop how i always wanted it to be in a minute i'm gonna give you guys a tour of the house it's almost done but first we're gonna put these chickens in their new coop I'm going to show you what we did with the coop and how we made it predator proof also in case you guys have chickens, have chicken problems or want to get chickens. All right, we have the chicken coop set up with food. I did have some technical problems with the waterer. So I got temporary water on this when I go to the store and buy another one of these. So we're going to put the chickens inside now. All right, chicken number one. There you go. Oh, you gotta stay in there. Felipe, no, where are you going? Felipe, your new house. Look, no, 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 wait, don't, don't go. You guys gotta stay inside. Not this way, where are you going? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, two of these guys are not very friendly to grab, but then this bonding one loves being pet and everything. She's such a sweetheart. Look at this. She doesn't even want to leave my side. And they're already curious going to shake the rest of the house. Come on. Off you go. Four happy chickens in the brand new house. Look how big this place is for you guys. And that's just the back part. If we close this here, we can go meet them and through the chicken run. This one's already peeking. Come on, you can do it. You have this whole playground to yourself now. Well, that's it for the chickens. Now let's move on to the house. You guys now will get to walk into my humble house. It's almost like about 90 to 95% done. So let's go check out what it looks like so far. Once you walk in, oh my God, that was so hard. Take two. <coughs> All right, take three is a charm. One, take four. Once you walk in, first thing you see is the awesome shiny 32 by 32 Calacata porcelain tile. And then we see our kitchen all the way over there. And then you look up and you see this huge fan, the AC vent, 
the lights that I will never ever in my life be able to change because I have no idea how I'm gonna get all the way up there to change them. So every time my light goes out, it's gonna make this place darker and darker and darker because there's no way I'm gonna be able to replace it. And yeah, I mean, I have no idea how I'm gonna get all the way up there. Like, how am I supposed to get all the way up there? Because it's, it's I'm gonna have to hire people to change my light bulbs. Following up with the house, uh, we have our living room area. There's a bunch of patches on the wall, even though after I painted, they did some repairs on the drywall. So you'll see a couple of those patches here and there. Um, yeah, there and there and there. The AC control box, can I go there? That's what those wires are hanging there for. But the main highlight right here, right now, which is outstanding, is the kitchen. Starting with the cabinets. I found it half cabinets. I picked this awesome gold handles from Amazon and it looks super, super clean. They go very well with the countertops. And then speaking of countertops, I got this really cool quartz that have actual some gold veining into them, not just your plain white and gray. So I kind of give them that little twist to go along with the gold accents. Our island here was almost done. They're still having to install the reverse osmosis water system, the food processor, and the rest of the stuff for the kitchen sink. And then on this side, we have our refrigerator with a TV built into it. My one and only 36 inch gas range, which I can now cook properly like a pro chef that I always wanted to, but no, I'm just kidding. And then we have our vent to go along with it. That vents all the way outside. I'll show you guys where this ends up through the shop all the way outside of the house. Some more stuff that had to get fixed there. We have our pantry over here to put all of our food. Then also additional food storage area over here next to the fridge. Dishwasher still has to get hooked up. It's still not installed yet. There's gonna be all the stuff down here. We have or double trash cans here. And then we move over to the master bedroom, my favorite place in the house. That's where I'm gonna be at most of the time, I'm just kidding. Uh, you can see how bright it looks now here. We have four windows, everything reflects off the floor. Ceiling fan is done. Everything here is done. I still have to paint over all the wall fixes. I still gotta finish putting the ceiling around all the baseboard. Then walk into this side, I have my giant shower, which is finally done. It's where I'm going to be showering from now on. It's my pride and joy, giant, giant, giant shower, two rainfall or rain shower heads, regular shower head, huge niche to put all my stuff, triple valves, so you can adjust different temperature on each of one of them. Then, of course, a pebble floor, which is really, really nice on your feet. It's like massaging your feet when you're taking a shower. Then the no-show drain with a towel or cover-up. You have the closet over there. Right now, we're still finishing up the vanities here. It's going to be two vanities, two mirrors, double lamp. They're still not done. They have to move that over. So I have to patch that up and texture it. Um, all the doors were installed, including the bathroom. Um, that's the toilet room there for the master bedroom. Over here on the walk-in closet for the master, this is a 10 by 14 walk-in closet. So it pretty much looks like a, a whole other room except it has a tiny window in the top. But even still, this thing is huge. Moving over to the laundry, that door got all messed up with paint. So we got to repaint that door, so don't mind that. Um, I do have gas appliances, so I have the gas dryer here, which I still have to install the washer machine. We have our little washing station here. So that's almost done. Guest bathroom, shower is all done. We're still missing a mirror here. Lamp's done, vanity's done, toilet's installed and sealed. Just gonna remove the rest of the construction paper. You gotta make sure that when you're building a house, you request that your shower heads are actually to the right height. Normally, they'll put them right about the height of your head. I'm 6'4", so the shower head would have been right here. But you kind of like have to squat them to take a shower, but this is all the way up here. I told them, put it all the way as far as I can reach. And up there, now you can take a proper shower instead of having to squeeze all the way to the wall. 
Then the window is all the way up there. You have plenty of lighting in this room with no lights. Just natural lighting from outside. Yeah, there's enough privacy because nobody's gonna be tall on that window to be inside while you're taking a shower. Then here we have our niche for putting soap and shampoo and everything. So that'll take care of that. This front room is almost done. Still gotta finish painting some of the stuff, take the paper off. Closet is done. This does have like a cream primer. I have to paint everything white so everything looks brand new, but that's why it's an odd color. Walking through this hallway, so you gotta paint this stuff. This bathroom is pretty much almost done, same as the other one. And then this is gonna be my friend's guest room. So every time somebody comes over to visit me, this is where you're gonna be staying at. And you can have a really nice view of the door too. And then the shop is on the other side of that wall. The bathrooms are gonna have double door. So you have a door that access from the bedroom and another door that access from the hallway. So you have double function bathroom. You can lock that door and only use it from the hallway, or you can lock this door and only use it from the bedroom. So that basically converts the house to have three master bedrooms instead of having one master bedroom, given that every single room has access to the bathroom from the bedroom. Now the garage side, there's not a whole lot done there, except there's more clutter since we're still building the house. The garage is being used to store everything for the construction process and there's still also a bunch of trash that I have to get rid of from all the unboxing of stuff. So after you finish eating, you walk over through this door and you access the shop, which is a lot of stuff here. But it's getting done. It's a lot of space. You get a lot of clutter right now, so you have to move all this stuff, there's stuff from moving, the cars, more boxes and more boxes. Actually, that's the whole house water filtration system. We're gonna have a water softener and triple filter to filter everything and have like really nice fresh water. RX-7 still there, ATV still there. I have some unusual engines. Those who know may know what these guys are. Very strange, they're not performance, but I'm gonna rebuild and sell these later on so I can make some little extra money. On this wall right here, which is on the side of the house, I have my office and the bathroom. This is my office right now where I'm gonna be editing most of my videos. And I have a white desk here, so I have to put it together. I have my white chair. I have my nice flag over here, which some of you guys may like. Next door to that, we have the shop bathroom, which is also missing a mirror. But everything here is also done. We went with a smaller size Calacata tile because the 32 by 32 were going to be kind of too small for this bathroom. Sorry, too large format for this bathroom. I hope the chicks are doing fine. They're all the way over there. Trucks over here, which needs to be washed. It's very, very dirty. The G35 also needs a wash. Then the trailer needs to get ready for next weekend. Well guys, that's all I have for this episode's update. I have to get back inside the house and finish patching some of these walls so I can get everything done for inspection next week. That means we're only possibly a couple weeks left until I can finally move in here. I know it's been dragging forever. I even stopped making videos of this stuff because it's taking forever. So we're finally on the last steps and then hopefully I can move in here pretty soon and start producing videos every day. How I already plan on doing on YouTube this year. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't smashed that like button, do so now and stay tuned for upcoming videos because there's a bunch of stuff that's gonna be happening here in the next couple of weeks.